What's up everyone, this is Mike from MyGadgets as well and I would like to thank you guys first of all that you guys got me 5,000 subscribers in really short period of time and you guys are listening to my request because seriously I was missing so many subscribers before and I told the story about like I was missing only one subscriber and I couldn't get my channel approved for monetization but this thing is really working and you guys are being so generous so please keep giving your support and love out there and now let's talk about this uh, new update so Xbox One Xbox is giving the 1810 preview right now. It is for alpha beta testers only. So alpha is like, you know, the high level invite only. So you just can't get there by yourself by increasing your score level. Uh, being the beta tester, you have to be chosen by Microsoft to be the alpha, alpha beta tester. So once you are the alpha beta tester, you can test this update. But the good news is that in this update, we are getting the Dolby Vision for Xbox One S and Xbox One X. So the best thing is like a $250 gaming console, which is Xbox One S, can do 4K gaming plus it can do HDR10, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos. So it is like a beast which can do everything for just $250. Why I'm talking about Xbox One S right now because Xbox is giving the update to both the console. They are not just letting Xbox One S alone behind. They are giving the updates to both the consoles. One is the most powerful one, the last year introduction of Xbox One X and um, the previous year edition which is Xbox One S. So both systems are getting powered with Dolby Vision update which is 1810 preview beta build and it is for the alpha beta testers only. So the reason I'm making this video is to letting you guys know that if you have the 4K Ultra HD television and uh, you have Dolby Vision available in your TV, you can get the benefit out of it and 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 you can play the Dolby Vision content. For now, I looked up on Xbox One X uh, website and Xbox website and there is an article which says that it is right now currently for Dolby Vision video streaming. So this thing will do Dolby Vision video streaming which uh, supposedly for the Netflix. So currently it will support the Netflix and uh, uh, in future I'm expecting that they will also add this support for the Blu-ray player because that plays a major role there. Like if you, you won't need a dedicated Blu-ray player to play Dolby Vision discs like LG does and uh, there is Sony uh, Blu-ray players which does the um, 4K uh, Dolby Vision and uh, if this $250 device can do all that I think you will be eliminating all the other devices and you can use only one box which will be Xbox One S or if you want a higher end performance you might go for Xbox One X so what I am assuming that mostly people use their Xbox One X or Xbox One S with their TV systems. So I'm expecting that the LG OLED TVs and other OLED TVs which are like Sony and Philips is also in the game and they, they have the Dolby Vision enabled TV, they are the Dolby Vision enabled TV. So their sales will go higher because the demand for Dolby Vision is increasing. As you see that Apple is also uh, one of the boxes, Apple TV 4K, which does the Dolby Vision out of the box. So the Dolby Vision demand has been increasing and it is best performed if you are watching the Dolby Vision content on OLED TV because it provides the deep contrast level that you need and it's pure black. So that's what you're looking for when you are talking about the Dolby Vision. And also there are other LED TVs which does the Dolby Vision. For example, there is uh, there are LG TVs which does Dolby Vision. But some people say there is light bleed issue because they are edge lit and now they have direct lit TVs which are doing Dolby Vision. and some people are having no issues at all if it is a uh, bright lit room but also if you are watching those kind of videos in the dark room then you might see some difference because they cannot perform the same performance as of uh, OLED TVs. So that's the point here like introdu introduction of Dolby Vision is pushing the Dolby Vision enabled TV sales more. So that's what will be happening in future and I want to point out one more thing here now the gaming will be in Dolby Vision also as you know that there are video games for PC that are in Dolby Vision and recently Nvidia got the update for Dolby Vision and uh, now Nvidia 10 series cards are enabled with the Dolby Vision but the problem is there are no Dolby Vision monitors available out there so there are TVs available. So now you can connect your uh, graphic card HDMI with a Dolby Vision enabled TV and you can play the Dolby Vision games. I saw this one on the Battlefield one that they have this option that you can do Dolby Vision gaming and I can show you that. Yeah, let me show you the Battlefield one Dolby Vision. Uh, it has the option that you can play the Battlefield one in Dolby Vision. So let me start it for you.
Okay, so if you go to the Battlefield 1 settings on your PC, so you go to Options and go down to the Video and go to the Advanced Settings. And you will see this option there that they have HDR10 and then they have the Dolby Vision. And this Dolby Vision works with the uh, uh, 60 Hertz, up, I mean the refresh rate is 60 Hertz so you can play this game at uh, 2160p at uh, 60 frames per second so easily. So this is what I'm gonna try tonight attaching this uh, PC to with my LG OLED TV which can do Dolby Vision. So this is just apart from the Xbox One X what, what they are doing so I'm gonna see like how the gaming looks like on the Dolby Vision platform and in this format. That's it from this video guys make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and wait for my another video because I'm gonna be testing this PC Dolby Vision on my LG OLED TV. So thank you so much guys for your help and support I'll see you guys in another video until then take care bye bye.